<laughs> hey what's up everybody welcome back to my channel if you are new here my name is savvy c and today we are going to be talking about things that i wish i knew at 18 that i now know at 23 i'm only going to cover five of them because there's just so much and I don't have time for that, so. So we're just going to do the five things that I know now at 23 that I wish I knew at 18. So let's get into it. Okay, so the first one is kind of controversial and I'll tell you why. The first one is I wish that I knew that just because going to college is cool doesn't mean that you necessarily have to go all the way and get your doctorate and your master's and all these fun pieces of paper that say that you're well educated. Like I now believe that you can make your own success and you can be happy by seamlessly nothing. I mean, I know people that are so successful that didn't go to college. They don't have a fancy piece of paper in a frame that says, oh, I paid hundreds of thousands of dollars and now I'm in debt for this piece of paper. Like that doesn't, that doesn't necessarily, that piece of paper doesn't necessarily mean that you're going to be successful. Take it from me, <laughs> I have a bachelor's degree and I am a preschool teacher, which doesn't mean that a preschool teacher isn't successful. I love what I do. I love my job. I love my kids. I love my coworkers. I just love what I do. But to me, that's more important than the amount of money that you're making. Does that make sense? So. I really wish that at 18 when I was starting college and I was getting into all of that, I wish that I would have known that you don't have to take the same path as everybody. You could take your own path. You could take your own time. You can do what you need to do in order to be successful and, you know, not feel pressured by external forces. Number two, because I I could literally rant about number one for like an entire video, but we're not going to do that. So number two is I wish I knew at 18 that being your own person and being an individual, no matter how many tattoos you have, what color your hair is, what piercings you have, what jewelry you wear, what clothes you wear, etc. I wish that I knew that being an individual is so much more fun and more enjoyable and more attractive than following everybody else. I've gone my entire life being that girl that has always had a very interesting sense of style. I've always had crazy hair colors. I have tattoos. I have piercings. You know, I don't necessarily follow with everyone else and when I got to college when I was 18, even when I was in high school, I was following the crowd like in no other. I thought that I wouldn't be well liked, I wouldn't have friends, I wouldn't have romantic relationships with individuals if I didn't give this persona, this image of somebody that wasn't me of somebody that I knew that other people found attractive, so I tried to make myself that way. Um, that's not how life works, so I don't do that anymore. I think that it's very important to just stick to what you like. And if, you know, you like wearing crazy colored lipstick every day, no matter what, you know, you could be a a manager at Walgreens, I don't know why that's the first thing that I think of, but you could be that or you could be, you know, a 
hairstylist or you could be a preschool teacher and you could do funky things and still express yourself without being unprofessional. For example, my preschool, they don't like us to show tattoos. So sometimes I have to wear longer sleeves than other people, which is whatever. To me, I don't really care. I love what I do so much that I don't care what I'm wearing, like whatever. But I think that it's important to know that having different opinions, being a different individual, just being your own person and being excited about who you are, what you stand for, how you look, etc. I know something that I don't really do is wear makeup. I don't really like it all that much. If I do wear makeup, it's uncomfortable to me. I don't like it, but that's me. That's how I am and that's how I'll always probably be. And I think that it's important to know that about myself, right? So it's important to know things about yourself and to just run with it. If you want to have full tattoos everywhere like Jeffree Star, go for it, queen. Oh, I love, love him. I love him. What a queen. So just do what you want. Don't let other people influence you because it's what everybody else is doing or what the cool thing to do is or what's trendy. I think doing what you like to do and doing something that makes you happy, you sparkle, you know, just do that. And don't worry about other people because it's just a complete fucking waste of time. <laughs> I hate it when people text me when I'm filming. Just kidding. That was my boyfriend, so. Diving into number three, and I just want to say when I was, so, how I kind of do my videos is I have like my iPad is over here and I have notes on it so that I kind of stay on track and I don't go on tangents, um, which I do anyways, because it's just me. My third one, when I was typing out my notes, <laughs> I meant to say being an adult is rough, but <laughs> what happen is it auto-corrected to being an idiot is <laughs> I think that is so funny because being an adult is literally just being this idiot that's walking around like I have no idea what I'm doing I'm sorry like that's life as an adult <laughs> so I thought it was funny so I thought I'd give you that little tidbit but yes being an adult is a rough is rough i'm sure a lot of you can comment below your worst adult life experience ever and how rough it is and make sure to like this video if you think that being an idiot or an adult is rough because it is I wish that my 18 year old self really relished more. I think that I did. I think that I really took advantage of my college years. I think that I really let myself enjoy the time that I had in college. I think that I let myself, you know, have that fun, like exciting, crazy time in my life. And I'm very grateful for it because now as a 23 year old, which I'm still very young for everybody out there going, uh, you're still a child. Yes, you're right. But in societal eyes, I'm an adult, like a real adult, which is so not okay <laughs> because I still feel like I'm this weird 15-year-old that doesn't really know what they're doing and is always calling their mom like, help? I'll probably be doing this till I'm like 30, so whatever. But anyways... I wish when I was 18, I knew that being youthful is so important. Like being that crazy, youthful, like teenage, crazy person. I feel like a lot of people need to have that experience because 
once you become an adult, once you graduate college or once you get to a point where you're doing adult things, because I know a lot of people have different pathways and that's totally fine. But once you start getting your own place, paying bills, paying for your car, everything, you realize, oh my gosh, when I was in middle school and I would go to high school football games, I all I wanted to do was be older. All I wanted to do is drive. If anybody knows the song by Thomas Rhett, 16, like this video because that's my jam. And that is exactly what I'm trying to talk about. Like, you always want what you can't have. And then when you get there, you're like, wow, this sucks. I wanna fast forward. But I think that we need to slow down. I personally, I don't wanna turn 24. I don't wanna be older. I want to stay in this fun, young time. And I think that we have to take advantage of it. And so, yeah, my 18 year old self, I wish that I knew how hard being this 23 year old preschool teacher would be you're a full-fledged adult and you are a contributor to society now like you can't just be like i quit i'm done being an adult no thank you can't do that which sucks i wish we could do that but we can't so moving on number four that's eight Making mistakes is always okay. I wish that my 18 year old self wasn't such a perfectionist. I still kind of am a perfectionist when it comes to certain things though. When it comes to like, like my planner is like very meticulous, okay? So that to me, like my planner and like my teacher stuff. So what I do at school, all of my crafting, all of my, all that stuff, that's very meticulous, but those, are really the only things that I'm meticulous about. Everything else, I feel like you just have to allow yourself to make mistakes. Point being, when anything goes wrong, you have to just learn from it. Don't dwell on it because there were so many times, oh, so many times in college and after college where I was just like, this is awful this sucks why is this happening to me I don't understand why am I making all these mistakes I'm a horrible human being but in reality you're not a horrible human being you make mistakes you're human we're so messy right right we're so messy my dog's looking at me like yes you're a mess but yeah we're a mess we're messy humans that's how we are we're just naturally discombobulated and we have no idea what we're doing all of the time even Beyonce sometimes is like what is this shit you know so we have to give ourselves a break and I wish that I definitely knew that more because I really 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 have trouble sometimes letting myself make mistakes and learning from them so my 18 year old self I wish that you new not to be so hard on yourself even though you kind of still are sometimes <laughs> okay getting into number five i know this is like getting ranty so i wish that i knew that learning and growth needed to be more a part of my life i think that i was so stuck in my ways once i was 18 i was like i'm an adult I can do whatever I want and this is how I'm gonna be. And it was very toxic and it was very negative. It wasn't, I wasn't learn. I wasn't growing as a, an adult. I was just kind of staying in my 18 year old ways but just doing more awful things as like time went by. And I think that growth is very important. Even if you're 50 years old and you're like, I wanna learn Spanish, do it, learn continue to read books, continue to search the internet for randomness, do random research about things that interest you. I'm really into true crime. I don't make videos about it, but I love listening to true crime. I love watching Oxygen. I love all of that stuff. And I do random research sometimes. And sometimes I want to, you know, listen to randomness about 
Spanish classes because I used to love Spanish. I mean, I still do, but I used to learn Spanish. And so I love, you know, reading books to my kids in Spanish and all these things. You need to always be growing as an individual because otherwise you're just gonna stay the same. And who wants to stay the same? Don't you wanna be a better version of yourself once you're 50 or 75 and you don't really have any regrets because you are that better version of yourself and you continue to keep growing because you're just an awesome human? Hopefully that will be me crossed but yeah so those are my five things that I really wish at 18 that I knew that now at 23 I'm like duh but that's just life that's how it works and hopefully I don't have to make a well now I'm 30 and what I wish I knew at 23 which I probably will because I'm a mess always so if you like this video go ahead and like down below make sure to hit that subscribe button and that bell so that you get notified every time i post and i will see you guys next time bye